हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू आवर चैनल स्टूडेंट्स होम्योपैथी एंड लेट्स लर्न टुगेदर टुडे वी विल डिस्कस द मेंटल रूब्रिक्स डिसटफुल फेनिंग लायर हिपोक्रेसी एंड सेल्टन सो फर्स्ट कमिंग टू डिसटफुल डिसटफुल मींस डिसीवर और चीटर डिसटफुल पीपल टेंड टू मिसलीड चीट और डिसीव अदर्स एंड फॉर दिस दे मे यूज एनी प्लॉट दे मे टेल लाय hide the truth or may do anything else the main point is that they tend to and also are capable of deceiving others deceitful people belong either to choleric or sanguine temperament as they are very much clever and manipulative here it is very much necessary to mention the rubric feigning sick until the end of 19th century the hysteria patients were often believed to be malingering that is deceiving so the symptoms of hysteria patients were mentioned under rubric feigning but actually the symptoms of hysteria are the physical or neurological expression of anxiety in form of wide array of symptoms unexplained by laboratory investigations actually the hysteria patients don't feign thus the rubric feigning sick is a subgroup of rubric hysteria kent writes on hysterical symptoms of plumbum in his lecture on mathematical like this plumbum produces an inclination to deceive to cheat the acetate of lead produced in a woman who took a little of it for suicide a confirmed hysterical state she would be in a hysterical condition for hours when anyone was looking at her when she thought no one was near she would get up walk about look in the glass to see how beautiful she was but when she heard a foot on the steps she would on the bed and appear to be unconscious he also describes muscus like this However much they pretend to be honest and truthful their reported sensations are untrustworthy they have traded upon their sensation and imagination so long that a direct effort to give a truthful statement is unsuccessful the most erratic and unexpected neuropathic phenomena are always in appearance Charentula has been described in J H Clark's dictionary of practical mathematica as when there are no observers there is no hysteria when attention is directed to her she begins to twitch and cunning attempts to feign paroxysms of wild dancing here these three examples of plumbum muscus and tarantula are actually the symptoms of hysteria they are not actually feigning to be sick so these rubrics uh, belong to melancholic temperament as people of this temperament usually suffer from hysteria next coming to liar liar refers to someone who frequently tells lie due to some or the other cause sometimes without cause the reason for lying may be to deceive someone to show off that is to attract attention or admiration or to get importance in kent's repertory there is no such rubric like liar however it has a rubric mind lie never speaks the truth does not know what she is saying now this rubric has been placed as a sub rubric under rubric liar in complete and synthesis repertories that is mind liar never speaks the truth does not know what she is saying this rubric refers to the pathological liars who lie without any clear motive it may be out of habit or no reason at all the cheaters or fraudulent people who often tell lie to deceive others come under the rubric liar at the same time being included under deceitful liars are either sanguine or choleric then what is hypocrisy according to collins dictionary a hypocrite is someone who pretends to have high level of virtues moral or religious beliefs principles etc that he or she does not actually possesses so they belong to the rubric deceitful 
Thus are a subgroup of it. The deceitful people who pretend to be holy men but actually they are not are hypocrites. They may claim themselves to be the messenger of God or have communication with God or have got power from God. Though actually they are the disgust cheaters. Hypocrites are either sanguine or choleric because they are very clever and manipulative. Lastly, who is a sultan? Sultans are the cheaters who pretend to have knowledge and skill, especially in the field of medicine. In simple language, it refers to quacks. So all sultans are deceitful. Sultans also belong to sanguine or choleric because they are very much clever and manipulative. So that's all for this video. Hope this short video will help you to recognize these rubrics easily. If you have not yet subscribed to our channel Students Homeopathy, please subscribe it now and also click on the bell icon and select all so that you will not miss any of our informative, educational and interesting videos on homeopathy. And please provide your feedback in the comment section. Also, we will love to answer your queries on this topic. Thank you for watching.